Hey guys, how are y'all today? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back. We got another great shave on tap for you. Um, so today, uh, not a whole lot going on. Day off, so we're just gonna get a quick shave in. Got to go meet the preacher. We're having lunch today, so we're gonna have cool. We're gonna have a good time with that. Blade for today is gonna be the uh, Gillette Seven O'clock Super Platinum on its first use. Razor. We'll talk about that in just a moment. The shave cream <coughs> for today. I finally broke down and bought some, the Gillette Pure Shave Cream. I'll give that a shot, see how that works. And then our aftershave for today is going to be brand new as well, to me anyway. It's going to be the uh, Nivea Deep. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We've got our brush soaking in the warm water. It is just a Wilkinson Sword, the uh, plastic candle bore. I promise it'll work out though, just a second. Sorry about that. I had to get my, my towel out. All right, there we go. Our razor for today. Recently, a uh, friend of mine over here on uh, YouTube and on the forum uh, was talking about the uh, travel razors from Germany. So this is the one that I have. It's not stamped West Germany or East Germany. It's just stamped Germany. So it's got the uh, handle that comes apart right there. Uh, it's pretty cool. It packs up into a little, little package. So we're going to use that razor. Um, so let's go and get started. All right. uh, it says zero percent alcohol, dyes, parabens, and sulfates. Hundred percent free from those. So you can see this on camera here. Not gonna put a lot on the brush, but put a little bit on there. There we go. If you're into scents, um, it's a masculine scent. It's clean scent. It smells good, but there's nothing over the top powering about it. So. Not bad. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, like, you, like you've seen already, we've wetted the face. We're going to go ahead and ride to a face lather with it. Okay. So this reminds me of the same consistency that the um, Cremo uh, sandalwood had out of the tub. Not a bad thing. Not a bad consistency. I like the creams, too, because... Some mornings you're just running a little bit behind and you just need to get a quick shave in. And on the back of the package it does say that you can use your hands or a brush. So that's pretty cool that they're at least acknowledging that there are some of us that prefer to use a brush for a lather. And we're not going to get into the whole politics of Gillette, okay? We're just not going to do it on this on this video. You don't like their politics, that's fine. If you do like their politics, that's fine too. This is not the place to discuss that, so we're gonna stay free from that. So as always, okay, on this bore brush, as you can see, it lathers very easily, it lathers very well. Does need a little more water? Took the tips in, and I'll just apply the water right here. There we go. Yeah, good thick lather, I'll give it that. Since kind of growing on me, uh, a little bit stronger now that it's out of the tube and on the face. Not bad. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start. Dip the razor in the water and get it started. Here we go. First pass. It's about a day and a half growth. So this little travel razor, I guess that's what it's called, uh, works well. Make sure that it stays tightened down. Sometimes it does have a tendency, at least for me anyway, to um, to loosen up over time. So I've got to make sure it stays tight. Now I'll still claim that a blade is a blade, and a razor is a razor. And in that vein, yeah, this blade's just fine. Not anything normal or abnormal, nothing out of the ordinary. You can see here doing the skin stretching. Just a normal day off today, guys. Just uh, the grocery store, got some water. Got some dog food for His Majesty, who y'all may have seen on camera before. 
And apparently he wants to eat every day. I don't know what's up with that, but we got that done. Quick little doctor's appointment they actually got me in on time. I was actually out of there early. I was surprised. Usually you get a 8.30 appointment, you're out of there by 9.45. Actually got me out a decent time this morning, so that's a good thing. Trying out a new camera. Again, so you guys tell me if this is too dark, too light, whatever, let me know how it looks on playback. I think these German razors are pretty cool. A lot of history in them anyway. At least. There we go. All right. So first pass down. Yeah, the scent on the shave cream is definitely, definitely good. I like it. It's masculine. Nothing super fancy, nothing super over the top, but it's nice. It's a clean, it's a clean scent. It's refreshing. It's good stuff. So this camera that I'm using now, I got a new phone. I got the uh, Google Pixel 3, not the XL, just the regular size, and uh, using the camera on it. So it's got a whole bunch of different settings on here that I'm not really sure what they all do. So. I'm learning as I go, guys. Yeah, and you could, I could definitely add more water to this cream. I could definitely stand more water, which is not always a bad thing. I mean, when you're starting out, yeah, when you're using the cream for the first time, I try to go light on the water, just because you never know for sure. go out and have lunch today gonna eat Mexican food for lunch or Tex-Mex I guess you should say you know being down here in Texas and all they got that Tex-Mex stuff so that'll be fun <coughs> all right second pass a good slickness to it which most honestly most of the soaps nowadays that are on the market yeah soaps and or creams they're gonna have good slickness okay right, they really are I mean it's not gonna it's gonna be once in a blue moon really I would think that you get a soap from a mainstream manufacturer or even an artisan that doesn't, especially an artisan, yeah, it doesn't have good slickness to it. And even the Cremo sandalwood that didn't lather, it still had good slickness, it just didn't lather. So if you don't mind a brushless cream, I don't understand why you wouldn't, but if you don't, if you just want something that's still gonna be slick, yeah, the cream is fine for you. The original formula. And the new stuff lathers, like it should. Uh, one thing we'll say about this uh, Vic blade. Okay, this is one of those blades that does get smoother with time. Second, third, and fourth uses are much better. Well, not better, but much, much smoother. Here, all right. So 
So that's the second pass. Swipe the face off real fast. So for those of y'all that haven't heard, I'm gonna keep saying this because I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, found out we're having a boy. <coughs> Excuse me. It'll be a first one. So we're, me and, the, me and Mrs. Ordinary Shaver are excited. Hey, look at that. Only 10 and a half minutes. We're already lining up for our third pass. I'm doing good today. Never a lot to rant about. People finally learn it. This is not a cold water shave either. This is a warm water shave. Not hot. Not hot, but warm. Yeah. This cream definitely works well. It definitely lathers well. Uh, it doesn't mind the water, which I find a good thing. So even if you're new to using it or if you use it for a while and then you put it up and you forget how much water to use, it looks like it stands out very well to a lot of water usage, so that's good. This will definitely be in my rotation. There you have it. Yep, cool. Third pass, here we go. If you guys have any more information about these um, German uh, travel racers, definitely interested in hearing about it. Kind of doing different strokes as we go down here. All right, sometimes on the neck area a little harder for me to get a BBS just because of the way it grows, but we do the best we can. As long as it's comfortable and relatively irritation free, I'm happy. Okay, so for those of y'all that want to help, um, we are picking out names right now. Uh, first name, we've already got the middle name picked out, that's a family name. So we gotta come up with a uh, family, or with a uh, A name, an initial, it starts with A for the, for the first name. So you can put your comments down below if you like. I'm not saying we will, but you know, you can if you want to. My first vote was for Absalom after the uh, uh, poetry. Absalom, Absalom. I believe that was William Faulkner that wrote that. Found a lot of over, overhang on this blade, which is a good thing for me. Considering how most of the time when I shave, I'm still working on my first cup of coffee, so it only makes it easier to <clears throat> not nick yourself with bad. Um, now speaking of that, I just got myself. Oh, there it is, right there. Cool. Anyway, um, so it makes it a little bit easier to not, to not nick yourself with the edges of the blade. So yeah. Shave cream worked out well. Worked out well, that got a burr on the edge of that blade. I felt it as soon as I put it up there. It's all right. We'll get to stop momentarily. If you've never used a styptic, styptic pencil, yeah, I highly recommend that you do. They're uh, they're great. They work well, and they just take that a little bit. Oh, got a little bit of spot right there too. There we go. All right. So there you have it. That was the shave cream review. Um, and it was going well until I nicked myself, but you know, it happens sometimes, even to the best of us. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit of witch hazel on. There we go. Let 
that dry down momentarily. All right, there we go. That's good and dried down. We're going to go ahead and use our uh, Nivea Deep. There's a restrictor on the bottle, as y'all can see. I always like to show that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's a good scent. It's a very good scent. I like that. Masculine, too. It's masculine on the darker end, whereas the shave cream is masculine on the lighter end, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but anyway. So there you have it, guys. Um, very simple, very easy shave today using the uh, Gillette Pure Shave Cream and the uh, Nivea Deep get my hands on it there we go the Nivea deep so maybe this will be maybe if I stand here long enough this will be the uh, thumbnail there you have it guys hope you all enjoyed I enjoyed making it y'all have great shaves talk to you soon bye